Hi, I'm Tamara Scove with your solar storm forecast for the week of October 9th. Outside of a gorgeous M7.3 flare that was fired off the West Limb a few days ago, the sun has been pretty stealthy this week, not giving us that much in the way of activity. But it has begun to increase over the last day or so, starting with this uh, gorgeous solar storm that fired off to the east of us from region 2185, which has now gone defunct, and now increasing with region 2182, which has fired off two M-class flares back to back in the last 24 hours. Switching to our M-flare threat meter, you can see that M7.3 flare that happened on October 3rd, but since then the levels have really quieted down, except for the last 24 hours from region 2182, it's really brought the activity back up again. Switching to our storm conditions, you can see the remnant of a high-speed stream moved out around October 1st and our activity level really dropped, and it stayed pretty low until about October 8th when things started ramping back up when we actually got hit by the edge of a solar storm that was actually expected to go east of us. Taking a closer look at this storm, you can see there are long periods of southward pointing fields here, and this has really managed to help boost the amount of aurora that we're seeing, despite the fact that the solar storm is reasonably slow. In fact, we're actually getting reports of aurora being seen as far south as Wisconsin. But here's some gorgeous aurora uh, last night in the Yukon with uh, the blood moon, and some gorgeous aurora australis in Tasmania. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's one of our backside monitors. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. Now you might notice this is not my normal view. I usually use Stereo B, but the two stereos are having reduced science operations right now as they cross behind the sun. Taking a look at the backside, you can see there hasn't been a whole lot of activity over the past week, except for the last few days, starting around October 6th. There's been a few sunspots emerging uh, behind the east limb. Those should be rotating into Earth view in about five days. Returning to the disk, you can see region 2173 is now rotated off the west limb, and the player to watch is region 2182 as it continues to increase in activity. It has now fired a third M-class flare just during the middle of my shooting this here, and as it continues to rotate to the west limb, it will be a potential uh, candidate to create uh, proton radiation storms here in the next few days. Now, region 2186, it is beginning to rotate onto the disk now, but right now it's in a stable configuration and we're not expecting anything big from it at this time. Taking a look at your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities throughout this week, I am going to break with the NOAA forecast because we are in active conditions right now uh, due to that solar storm that's blowing through, and I expect the chances at high latitudes of us seeing a minor storm are probably 50%, and at mid latitudes, uh, the chances of us continuing to see uh, at least active conditions are about 50%, at least over the next 24 hours or so, and it may be enhanced because we're expecting to see a high speed stream blow through right about the same time. So expect these conditions to have good aurora possibilities over the next couple days and then things will begin to taper off uh, around the 11th. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook throughout this week, we are now getting M-class flares from region 2182, so I suspect that NOAA will raise its M-class threat level up to possibly as much as 25%. We could see more low-level M-class flares from this region, and as it continues to rotate to the west limb, uh, we will have a bigger chance for uh, particle radiation storms, uh, especially over the next few days, so expect that this threat level should be raised as well. So this week has come with a few surprises. That solar storm that was actually supposed to go east of us is actually grazing by us, and it's been enough to give us some gorgeous aurora over the past 24 hours and likely will continue over the next 24 hours. We also have region 2182 that's now firing off M flares, and its activity is continuing to increase as we speak. So because of these things, you might see a few issues with your GPS or your satellite phone or internet or your satellite radio over the next 24 hours or so until the solar storm blows through. And then you ham radio operators, your, my, your issues might be compounded by the fact that we're having these M flares picking up. So you might actually see a, a few disruptions, maybe even a couple radio blackouts for a short period uh, as long as these low M flares continue. Other than that, enjoy the aurora. Uh, hopefully we'll get some really good shows and some wonderful pictures. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.